Okay guys, we're gonna learn some new things in Onshape today. This is day two of our Onshape uh, learning. Um, but first I'm gonna start with showing you guys some file management things. So when you get to this home screen, you, you see all these things here and you have the little plus to start a new one. But I'm gonna start by going to my Onshape. Okay, and by clicking on that, you'll see, oh, there's the, the, the file that I did the other day. Um, but we need to get into some, some ways of storing our things so it's not just this clutter of everything we're working on. We want to we store things by whatever project we're working on. Right now, we're, we're learning on shape. So I'm going to create a new folder by hitting this little plus folder button right here. Okay, and we'll call it... Uh, practice folder it's okay okay and now we're going to put all of our things that we do related to learning about on shape in this practice folder i'm going to also go ahead and change the name of this file because practice you know i don't want to have a whole bunch of files called practice so i'm going to click on the little i right here okay i'm going to go to this little pen okay it's going to let me rename it and we'll call it practice uh zero one and you guys should do the same all right and then finally I want to put it in that folder so I'm gonna to go to the move button okay and I'm gonna open up this guy okay and I'll go move here boom okay now if I open up that folder as you'll see there's the, the progression home uh, my on shape and practice folder and practice one is in there okay I want to create a new file now uh, I want it to be in this practice folder, so with this folder open, I'm going to hit the plus button right here. Okay, and we will call this practice 02. All right, so we're going to get started much like we got started before. We're going to start with a new sketch. Okay, it's always nice that uh, on the iPad it tells us what to do next. So select a plane, face, or surface to sketch on. We'll sketch on this front plane because I like it. Uh, I am going to go ahead and make sure that uh, we are looking at the front view. Okay. And I'm going to choose the corner rectangle tool again, much like last time. All right, I'm going to click a quick rectangle, and I'm just going to I'm going to make it more rectangly than square this time to kind of demonstrate some stuff. Um, so I start with a rectangle there. All right. Now, I'm currently in the rectangle uh, command. And you can see it because the rectangle is highlighted right here. But I don't want to create another rectangle um, because if I click, it's just going to make another rectangle. That's not what I want to do. So if I use my finger and just anywhere outside the shape, like let's say right here or right here, if I just double tap with my finger, it gets me out of the command. You see I'm no longer in the command. Um, so I am going to then go ahead and click on this little pin. We're going to dimension this guy, okay? And I'm going to go down here to dimension. Click, okay? Click on this guy, and it says that this is 2.731, uh, and by default, it's going to be inches. Uh, I don't want to do 2.731. That's a weird number, so I want to actually go ahead and change this. So if I click on that little number there, and I can change this to two, and I can go check. Okay. Uh, now, just to demonstrate something, I'm going to go ahead and say this is good. Okay. Um, and now I am not in any command. You can see nothing is highlighted here. I'm no longer in my sketch. Um, but I, I realize, oh, you know, I don't want this to be a rectangle. I want this to be a square. So I can go ahead and go back in there and edit that. And it's important to do it this way, not to create a new sketch. I don't want to create a new sketch. I want to edit the current sketch, okay? So if I click on these little three dots and I say edit, boom, I'm back in sketch one. And that's really important to know, okay? So now I could go ahead and go through those steps again. You're more than welcome to dimension this too because I do want this to be a perfect square. Or I can show you another little cool trick. And if I select this guy, and this guy, okay? And now I go over here to this little pen, and I'm gonna use a constraint this time, and I'm gonna use the equal constraint. And if I just say equal, boom. Now those two sides are equal, and I know that all these sides are now worth two inches. Um, so I could go on. Let's say I uh, did this constraint not the way I want. I want this constraint to actually, or I want this dimension to actually be three. 
Okay, so I'm going to click on my little dimension constraint. It's already up here. I don't know what that is. Go away. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click uh, dimension again. I'm going to click on this guy, double click on him, or let's see if I can tap on him. There we go. Double tap on him. And I'm going to change this to three. Boom. And look at that. It changes everything to three, which is awesome. So let's just go ahead and go with that. I'll go over here and I'll hit the plus sign. I'm going to be done with this sketch. Okay. And I'm going to go over to my view cube and I'm going to go back down to isometric. Okay. Because we're going to go ahead and do an extrusion. So to do an extrusion, we click over here on this. We select extrude. Okay. And we need to select what we want to extrude. We want to extrude this guy. Okay. Now, um, to do, we're going to do a taper. Okay. And a taper is when the sides all either come in or, or come out. And I'll show you what I mean by that. And uh, in on shape, that's called draft. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the draft on. Okay. And by default, it goes to like this three degrees. And you can see that it's drafting out a little bit. And um, what's a little different about on shape versus other uh, modeling softwares is that you can't put actually a negative in here. You need to actually change this to, uh, I'm going to change this to 30. Okay. And I don't, like I said, I don't want it to draft out. I want it to draft in. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click opposite direction. And now it's drafting in. So my objective today is to create a pyramid. Um, I want this to be a full pyramid. So I'm just going to click on my arrow and pull it all the way out until it's a full pyramid. And I'm going to go ahead and go check mark. Okay. And then you guys should get used to be able to use your finger to spin this around and look at different views using the expansion of your fingers to zoom in, zoom out, and two fingers dragging will move things around. Always, if I need to check, look at something again, I can go ahead and go back to whatever orientation I like. If I don't like that orientation, I can change it to a different view, like say right and so forth. Asymmetric. Okay. Get used to playing with these things, guys. Uh, do as much as you can. Don't just do what the video shows. Experiment. You can always hit that back button if something goes wrong. Uh, take a snapshot of this. Turn in. All right. Enjoy.